What's the best surface to run on? Should you run on grass, concrete, or treadmill? In this video, we're going to discuss the different effects that running has on different surfaces. An average runner will take 1,000 steps per kilometre, and with two and a half times body weight and force going through the body with each step, minimising this impact may play a role in injury prevention. Runners often think that running on a softer surface, or like grass, will cushion them and therefore less likely to be injured. However, a new study by Weight disputes this train of thought. The authors compared peak vertical tibial acceleration, which is a proxy for impact forces experienced at the shin bone, in trained distance runners on three different surfaces, grass, asphalt and concrete, and three grades, incline, decline and level. What did they find? Well, they observed that running on a softer surface of grass resulted in slightly higher tibial accelerations compared to running on harder surfaces of concrete and asphalt. Before we discuss the furthings finder, let's take a slight detour to discuss what happens inside our body when we run. Our bodies are pretty amazing and when we run on different surfaces, we suddenly adapt or tune our muscles and tendons to absorb impacts. This adaption occurs pretty much instantaneously when we, when we change surfaces. So when we run across a harder surface, our springs become less stiff and the opposite occurs when we run on softer surfaces. So the net result is impact forces that are pretty similar across all surfaces. What do other studies have to say on this? If we look at the findings from other studies exploring the same topic, we see no difference in tibial acceleration between running on concrete, synthetic track, natural grass, normal treadmill, and a cushion treadmill. Compared to running on a sandy soft surface, running on asphalt actually decreased the risk of tendinopathy. And a 2003 study by Taunton found no relationship between injury and running surface. So some other quick points on running surfaces. If we examine runners on a cambered surface, a slope that would normally be found on a road or a track, Unfried and all found that muscle activity was higher on the leg closest to the gutter. So it's worthwhile mixing things up and not always having the same leg in the gutter. Running on grass or dirt trails provides some unexpected hazards and we've seen plenty of runners injured themselves tripping along a tree root or landing in a pothole. So take this into consideration. There may also be an individual response to running on different surfaces. Anecdotally, we see runners who find their symptoms worse when running on a particular surface. This reflects the observation of Dixon, who found that only some of the runners in their study changed their knee movement when running on harder surfaces, while others did not. So your personal experience does play a role in determining what surface to run on. So what should you run on? If we conclude, our bodies adapt to running on different surfaces so well that the differences in forces to our lower limbs are likely either nil or negligible. Whilst the research doesn't tell us what surface is best for runners, due to the highly repetitive nature of running, it makes sense to mix things up with a variety of different surfaces. If you can find a course with a mix of asphalt, grass, crushed rock or concrete, then it will help break up the monotony of running. Alternatively, run on different surfaces for different days during your week. If you're training for a race, take into consideration the surface on which you'll be running, as you want to spend a fair amount of your time training on this surface. But remember, like anything in running, don't make sudden changes. Gradual implement change over time. It's worth noting here that the discussion on the optimal running surface also mirrors the ongoing discussion about optimal cushioning in shoes, but we'll save that for another day. If you need help with your running injuries or running performance, please don't hesitate to contact us at healthhp.com.au.